Hey guys, Bill Spadia here with Diana Blass. We are ready. The governor is going to give his budget speech for the 2018 fiscal year. Diana and I are ready. Now you may remember, we were here when Governor Christie announced under the rotunda inside the state house is right behind us, that if they don't spend $300 million, the place could be a death trap. So of course, safety first. We've got our hard hats. That's right, we do. But you know, first film, we gotta test them out. So, uh, how do you want to test excuse them? Excuse me, well, uh, oh, sorry, but you know, gotcha. oh. <laughs> one more time for really? safety. Yeah, just one more. All right, so the hard hats are working well. We're gonna head inside. Very tense, did not look comfortable. It sounded like he didn't see us. Yeah. I mean, no, I don't know about you, but people keep looking at me. People are looking because of the hard hats. I think your hard hats are the fashion statement of the budget day. <laughs> it, look, it looks good on young people. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Jim. Exactly. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> Let's get to work one last time together. God bless you and God bless the great state of New Jersey. This is a formality of politicians patting each other on the back. So this marks Governor Christie's final budget address and it's slightly higher than it's been last year, $35.5 billion. Now we still have work to do. We will always have work to do. We're New Jerseyans. We talked about education and one of the challenges with education funding is that the governor is pushing this fair funding plan and of course the idea of equaling out the payment for every student to be the same number doesn't address the spending. There's a billion dollars of waste in there. I know it. It never gets into the classroom. It doesn't get to the child. That's what they should be focusing on. And he also mentioned spending 400 million to fix our roads. A better New Jersey today than we inherited in 2010 on transportation. You know what's interesting? It's only a little bit more than the total amount that they're going to spend fixing the state house. Okay, so we made it out alive. We did, but I'll tell you, the governor can talk all he wants about how great the state has become under his leadership. Things are not getting better, they're getting worse. And all the while, they still want to spend $300 million to fix the state house with no accountability. Where's the money coming from? And where's it going to go? Oh, 